Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Studio, and today I'm going to share with you a few tips on how whole nodes are behaving and how to connect them with each other. All right, so we're in DaVinci Resolve right now, we're in the Fusion page, and first off, I'm going to bring here a background node in my working area. Then I'm going to bring a text and I'm going to want to just connect those two with a merge because that's how we connect stuff in Fusion. I could just take a merge and here connect each output of those nodes like so, but that's a waste of time. There's a quickest way to do it. You can take the output of the node that you want to connect and just connect it to the output of the other node. And here, as you can see, it's just creating the merge automatically. One important thing to note is that here, the output that you're starting with is going to be the foreground and then the output you connected it to is going to be the background when those are going to be connected with the merge. So here, as you can see, if I just write some text, we have the text as the foreground and here we have the black background over there. But if I were to do just the opposite and connect the background first to the text, now the text is not appearing because the text is behind the background. You can easily swap those two connections by just selecting the node where you want those connections to be swapped and hit Command T on your keyboard to just swap those two. So now as you can see, I'm switching it. The background is the foreground. And here, if I switch it back again, we have the text as the foreground. For Mac user, it's gonna be Command T and for Windows user, it's gonna be Control T. You can also just right click on it and here you'll be able to see uh, that swap input with the shortcut. Now, another way to add node directly after another node is here to select the node that you want. And here, for example, I'm just gonna click text and it's just gonna automatically bring a new merge with that text. Depending on the node type, it's gonna behave differently. Here, for example, if I'm gonna use a mask, because the mask is connected through the blue arrow, here if I'm selecting text two and I'm clicking rectangular mask, it's just adding the mask automatically above it. And it's already connected with the blue arrow. For another node like the color corrector that will not need a merge, if I click it, as you can see, just adding it straight away right after my merge. Another way to bring node is gonna to be to use the select tool window. So you can just hit shift space on your keyboard to just prompt open the select tool window. And here you can search for whatever node you're looking for. So here in that case, for example, transform, you can just hit enter and it's just gonna bring it straight away in your node structure. Now, what if you want to move around any of those nodes? You can do that very easily here. For example, if I want to bring here that color corrector upstream right here, I can just select it, hit Alt Shift on the keyboard, and then just drag that over there, and I can just release it and it will be connected. When you do that, something to be careful about is when you hold Shift and you just drag it uh, around, if you just place it like this, but you don't make the line appear, so here, as you can see, my cursor is not on the line and I release it, it didn't move it, okay? So when you're moving it, you need to hold shift, bring it there, and then just make sure that your cursor is on the line. So the output here is disconnect and it just create the new link right here. And another way to quickly unlink things, you can just hold shift and then click the link. And as you can see, just disconnect everything. And now you can just reconnect if you want to. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful to help you understand how nodes can behave and how you can use them easily in Fusion. Uh, let me know in the comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.